today's How Does It Work, I am going to show you how to create a comic strip uh, using Google Slides. So uh, first and foremost, you're going to want to pick your template. Um, here are some various templates that I have found that have worked um, for me. Uh, it, you can also create your own. Um, to do so, you would just create, a, just to you know, give yourself a background. For example, I have um, this background set. And then you can just drag and drop um, text boxes onto your page uh, to meet your needs. You can fill that text box and um, as you can see, you know, drag and drop as needed to create whatever uh, kind of document that you would like. So I'm gonna go ahead and get started. Um, down here in the bottom corner, um, you have a bot, uh, explore button. And in that explore button, that is gonna allow you to search for different items or content that you might want to include in your comic strip. Uh, one key term here that you're going to want to remember is the word transparent. Transparent is going to provide you with images that would allow you to um, not have a background to it. So that will be very helpful as you uh, research for your uh, activities. So I'm going to type in transparent and I'm going to look for a desk uh, for my classroom. And then I'm going to hit enter. You're going to go to images here. And then here are all the different options that I, I could drag and drop onto my uh, comic strip here. I'm going to just use this first one. I'm going to insert image with this little plus. And as you can see, it, it gives you your desk. So I can go ahead and um, shrink it down to size. I can add it into my uh, comic strip. I might want a transparent um, chalkboard. Again drag and drop onto my page. I'm going to shrink it down. Uh, another feature that is going to be helpful is your uh, rotate because I want it to be flipped the other direction. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. Uh, another feature that could be helpful is if you have more than one image and they are overlapping and you perhaps say, let me show you a quick example here. So they're on top of each other and you want the chair to be in front of the chalkboard. Right click, order, send to the back. So that allows you to lose the chalkboard and keep the chair, okay? Um, another feature for that would be um, to send back. So I sent that one all the way to the back, which um, took it behind my text box. So if I just send backwards, it's just going to um, send it behind that desk chair. So you'll see there's two kind of features to that. When I sent it back, it went to the very back. So that's why it disappeared and went behind the white box. Uh, when I sent it backwards, it just went behind the chair. So just another just little quick tool there for you. After you get your images onto your page, you're gonna want, I like to use my Bitmoji, so I'm gonna use my Google extension for my Bitmoji. I am going to use, uh, I'm gonna drag and drop her over here. Kind of shrink her down, put her in my text box. And then as you, as you can see, it's pretty um, flexible in what items and things you wanna use on your document. Um, however, I will suggest um, using your shapes and your callouts because that's where you're gonna get that, um, comic book feel. So you can add an explosion. So you can add your text here. And then you just double click to put whatever words you want in there. You can you know, rotate, get it to fit. You can also fill it. You want it to change colors. And again, I'm gonna bring my Bitmoji to the front so you can still see her. Um, yeah, and, and again, this is pretty um, flexible as far as kind of what you wanna do with it. And I'll show you just an example that has already been completed of kind of what I did to create my own comic strips. So you can see I just added several images onto my page using that transparent feature. And then I use my callouts, that shape callout, to add um, the different bubbles and things for the text. So again, just another great way to interact with your students. Remember the share feature up here is going to allow you to um, 
get your students to collaborate on these different projects.